He's a volleyball coach and an author with what some might call an amazing career. I know, we have Christopher Austin here today with us and he's gonna share a little bit about his book and you're gonna show me, the uncoordinated one, how to play <laughs> a little volleyball. So, right. how, so, so what are some of your biggest tips that you offer in the camps? And it's an academy, actually. Yeah, it's a run. training academy called National Champ Volleyball. Um, it's out of California, but we run events all over the place, uh, all over the USA and some international. But, I mean, for us, Technique is, uh, is a huge component of what we do, and we just want to make sure all our athletes get better from beginning to end. So today, I'll just show you guys some simple uh, hitting techniques, some passing technique, and some setting technique. All right. Awesome. So, I know. So, I'm excited. <laughs> so, so, so we have a ball that we're going to play we with? Or? Oh. oh, look. Wesley threw the ball in. All okay. Right. All right. All right. Okay, back all right. up for me. Okay, here. okay. Okay. All right. So uh, we'll start with, just keep the ball in your left hand. Oh, you're left-handed, aren't left -handed. you? Okay, yeah. so then everything I do is going to be opposite. Okay. All right, so you're just going to pull your elbow back behind your head, okay? And when you toss the ball over your left eyebrow, which is going to be your hitting shoulder, okay. then you're just going to put your palm on it, snap over the top, and hit it to my chest, okay? Okay. I'll show you, like this. Okay. Ooh, okay, and I got Go it, back too. back to me. Okay. There we go. I'm bad. Ooh, Try to keep ooh. your elbow a little higher. Okay. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you had some experience <laughs> with this. One more. Good. All right. So setting. Yay. Okay. Put a little bit of space between your hands. Okay. I'll go ahead and let you already shape the ball. And then as the ball comes in, kind of let your wrist be soft and just cushion the ball in and lift with both arms. So I'll okay. kind of show you. And you'll catch it here. Catch it and then step back. Oh, nice. Look at that. Did I miss oh, my okay. career? Oh, yeah, you might have. <laughs> Gosh. We need to put you on the team. Oh, there you go. Nice. Okay. Last Delicious. thing here. So passing. Okay. Um, on your platform, they put your elbows together. Here, okay. right? and then okay. keep your arms straight though. Arms straight all the way through, there you go. And then connect it, your thumb, so put this hand inside this one, connect it to the thumb pads. Put your thumb pads together, there you go. So as much as you can, try to keep your elbows straight, keep okay. your arms away from your body. Audience. There you go. Elbows straight, arms away okay. from your body. Okay. Here we go, so you're gonna pass back to my head. Oh! oh. No worries. <laughs> one more, a little okay. softer. Nice. Wow. Look at that, Look at that. one more. See, that's so okay. important to have the right form. Right. I don't think anybody has ever showed me this. Right. Here we go. Good. So I right, struggled. This is the last person to be chosen <laughs> on the volleyball team my whole <laughs> life. I could have had you. I know what it's like. Okay, okay now try this. So keep both okay. your arms apart, and then after I toss the ball, connect them and bump okay. it to me. Okay. All right. Boom. All right, one more. Oh. No, right out in front of you. Relax. Oh. All right. So there's some tips on the I volleyball. I could have been a star. Hopefully by the end of oh it, we can go gosh. back and forth and keep it going. Tell us about your book, too. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, The Way, a Hawaiian story of growth, relationships, and volleyball. Uh, this came out on June 25th, and essentially this story is my experience with the most influential team I ever encountered. It's a group of young boys, four core guys, and their two coaches, and it essentially goes through their story of growing up on different parts of Hawaii, mm -hmm. coming together, and creating the most success in the history of club volleyball. So I don't want to give it away to the audience of what that success entails, but it's a fun story. It kind of goes in line with what's happening with the Olympics right now. Uh, there's actually some current Olympians mentioned in the book. Mm -hmm. And so far, it's been kind of a hit in the volleyball world, and we want to expand it beyond that. Share a little bit about your experience as a volleyball player, too. You went abroad to play. and. Um, did you play with any of the current Olympic athletes? Or? Yeah, so my story kind of grows. I grew up in Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, where volleyball, you know, wasn't super popular at a really high level when I was there. It's growing now. But I tried to go to the University of Hawaii at a high school, and I was playing outside hitter, which is an offensive position, but I got cut from the men's volleyball team. So I was kind of trying to figure out what I wanted to do, and I ended up going to Long Beach City College in California, which is when I moved here. Um, it's a junior college, and I spent about a year and a half there training a little bit of hitting, a little bit of setting, and I got an opportunity uh, kind of last minute to transfer to UC Irvine, and we actually ended up winning the Division I National Championships in 2012 and 2013. Wow, so that's amazing. kind of a, a really cool story of starting you know, at the bottom, per se, yeah, and finishing sure. uh, at the pinnacle of, of collegiate athletics. So since then, um, my coaching career is built a little bit, but I did spend the last three seasons playing professionally in Europe. My first season was in uh, Tampere, Finland. My second yeah. season was in Athens, Greece, and then I just finished this last season in Kopio, Finland, and 
Looks like now I'm going to hang up the playing and move on to new coaching endeavors. Nice. Awesome. So, so what makes a good spiker versus a setter? I mean, I'm assuming everybody kind of trains for different positions within yeah. volleyball. Yeah, it's usually as people get older, they tend to specialize. But uh, I think what makes a good spiker is somebody who's one consistent, doesn't make a lot of errors. That's huge. Okay. But height always helps. You know, having a good arm. Uh, when we say good arm, that means hitting the ball hard. You know, that helps a lot of times, but really just that consistency. You know, if you can get sets in different locations and be able to do the same thing with them, that makes you a good attacker. In so my I still opinion. have a chance? You got a shot. <laughs> There's always a shot. Oh, man. Yeah. Hey, what makes a good passer is the same. It's just creating consistent angles and understanding how to read serves off of people's hands. And a good setter is just somebody who knows the game and can get everybody on their team to kind of fall in line with the team's plan, the team's system, and usually they're good leaders and obviously they can locate the ball really well. So do you recruit basketball players sometimes? Sometimes, I've you know, if there's people in high school or uh, middle school even who have never played volleyball, we like to just tell them that they have another option sometimes because a lot of people, you know, in America especially right now, volleyball hasn't been as popular as sports like basketball and American football and baseball. So. Uh, the Olympics always helps, you know, because it gets broadcast a right. lot and our national teams typically do pretty well um, on the indoor and the sand, so nice. hopefully we can keep, keep building. Christopher, thank you so much for being with us today. Really appreciate it. Our time always goes quickly. Um, come back and share some no more doubt. stories. Thanks I for would having love me. tonight. And I great. feel like I'm going to be a pro now, just from I know. the simple little tips you gave me. Okay. And that is it for our show today. We want to thank our crew and all of our guests today. We want to thank Steve Lamb for coming on and talking about and you know, all of our crazy political politics. crazy stuff with <laughs> our morning buzz. We also want to thank uh, Chris Peterson with the West Covina Christian School. And we have tons and tons of sponsors. That oh we yeah, we thank. definitely want to thank them. <laughs> We've got EH Financial and Foothill Transit. Uh, Color as well. dots. Yeah. We ESGV ROP. Yeah, we've got tons of sponsors that we always want to thank. Smile Agency. Absolutely. We're so glad that you joined us today. And you can see us on CCN Sunrise on the YouTube channel. You can see us on Facebook. Um, you can comment. You can say, hey, how about covering this story on, uh, and just send something out to info at crowncitynews.com or see us on KVMD Saturday mornings at 6 and Sunday mornings at 5. Thanks so much. <laughs> we should have the ball again. Yeah. Maybe we could have... Let's yeah. All right. You ready okay. to go consistently yeah. with me? This okay. time we're going to go back and forth. We're not going to okay. stop it. Okay. okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> Probably not a good tip. <laughs> 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 I did okay, here it goes. Sure, do you want to do it? Do you sure. Come in. Come on. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we're all on the stage. <laughs> 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 there you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs>